What's going on sixpackapps.com? It's Thomas DeLauer, your fasting expert and creator of the science-based six-pack program. All right, so a lot of people have been asking if it's safe to fast every day. Well, I wanna talk about this because there are some reasons why you may not want to fast every single day. Let me first off start by saying I am 100% a proponent of fasting. So even though this video is going to talk about why you may not want to fast every single day, it still has the underlying premise of the fact that fasting is good. I just want you to get the most effect from it. So first off, let me give you a few benefits of fasting. The first one we want to talk about is the fact that it promotes what's called autophagy. Now, Autophagy Journal actually found that by fasting, you increase what is known as the autophagosome by 300%. See, what this autophagosome is, is a double membrane that works with a cell to trigger autophagy, which is the cell recycling. So basically, it's recycling the waste from the cell, from the cytoplasm, the fluid part of the cell, takes all the gunk, flushes it out. Without the autophagosome, that process doesn't happen. So fasting increases that by 300%. So that's freaking phenomenal to begin with. So right there we have that. Then we have the digestive benefits. It gives the digestive system a break. So it increases gut motility, allows the gut mucosal layer to actually heal. That's a huge, huge, huge benefit when it comes down to fasting. Then there was a study that Yale University did that found that when you expose human immune cells to beta-hydroxybutyrate, which is the main ketone body that is released when you are fasting, you have a massive reduction in inflammation. So we have inflammation reduction, we have digestive benefits, we have cell rejuvenation and recycling through autophagy, and we have what is called a decrease in synaptic activity in the brain, meaning it slows down your brain, which sounds bad, but it's actually good. It slows down all the extra electrical impulses that are going on in your brain that don't need to be going on. So your brain essentially becomes more focused and more effective. So now that we got the benefits out of the way, let's talk about why you don't wanna be fasting every single day, because it's gonna blow your mind. Most people think you should be fasting every day. The first one is if you fast every single day, eventually you elevate your cortisol levels. See, the University of Virginia found that if you're fasting for multiple days in a row without a break, or you're doing intermittent fasting multiple days without a break, you can have up to a 50% increase in your cortisol levels. Now, don't get me wrong, we actually do want our cortisol levels to be a little bit elevated, but we don't want them to go through the roof because if they go through the roof, then we start running into a big issue. The other thing you have to be careful of is an excessive loss of minerals. You see, when you're fasting, obviously you're not consuming food, so you're not consuming a lot of minerals. And then when you do eat, you're getting a small amount of minerals, which is totally fine if you're fasting three, four, even five, honestly, even six days per week sometimes. You just don't want to be doing it continuously because eventually you will start having an imbalance of minerals. You won't get all the minerals that you need. Now, granted, you can add salt, you can add potassium when you're fasting to kind of keep those levels up, but you have an abundance of other minerals that are still potentially being a little bit weaned off of the body. So we want to make sure we get those in. The other thing is if you fast day in and day out, you end up having a reduction in stomach acid, which can make it a little bit harder to digest food when you do eat it. So you want to be really careful there. Now the big one that I want to talk about, this is the one I want to spend a little time on, is your basal metabolic rate. Okay, so your basal metabolic rate is your body's baseline metabolism. How many calories your body burns at rest? The more active you are, sometimes the more that you eat, the more that that basal metabolic rate increases. So if you're fasting every day, eventually your calorie window is like this, and you're not eating a whole lot. So eventually your body's going to set that as the new baseline. That's the new norm which means when you do have a lot more food, it's gonna impact you in a negative way. So how do we get around this? Well, you see, fasting is designed to be a catalyst for all kinds of different diets. It's designed to be done three to five days per week because what that's gonna do is it's never gonna change your basal metabolic rate. The intermittent fasting is always going to be the exception rather than the rule, which means that it is going to instill a very positive effect every time you do it. So if you're eating normally 3,000 calories every day, and then on a fasting day, you consume 1,000, well, that's a 2,000 calorie deficit from what your basal metabolic rate is or what your norm is. That's phenomenal, and that's exactly how you're going to have that decrease in body weight and that change in body composition that you want. So that is exactly why I recommend fasting less amounts, but doing it strategically. And again, I talk about that in my science-based six-pack program a lot, and you know, strategically implementing fasting. But that's just the cool thing. Even if you're not following my programs, you can look at intermittent fasting and use it as an add-on to whatever diet you are already doing. If you're doing ketosis, great. If you're doing paleo, great. If you're doing high-carb, low-fat, great. You can still implement intermittent fasting a few days per week to really get the maximum effect from that diet. So I hope that this clears some things up. I hope that this makes a little bit of sense as to why intermittent fasting may not want to be done every single day. I know we say it's a lifestyle, 
but it's a lifestyle that you use as an add-on to whatever your other diets are so that you don't end up having those calories go through the roof or go too low. As always, keep it locked in here with sixpackabs.com and I will see you in the next video.